Captain Spatula here, hot on the trail of the latest space mysteries. Only today, it's not so much of a mystery as much as a post-mortem, if you will, on a little contest called Control Out Space. A little contest that I, dear Captain Spatula, decided to enter with my latest case file, The Mystery of the Concealed Crevasse. Of course, my little comedy nugget was left unnuggeted. Perhaps because the title was a bit cheeky? Or should I say lippy? Or should I just say vaginal? I guess I don't have to worry about holding back for appropriateness anymore. But perhaps it was due to the fact that my video centered around a mysterious glitch in the universe too embarrassing to speak of, let alone show. Or perhaps those nerdy game developers just aren't the target audience for satirical Canadian space comedy. Hmm. Or maybe... Maybe it just wasn't good enough. I mean, maybe, maybe Papa was right when he said that I would always fail in life. Maybe I should just take that noose that I normally use for autoerotic asphyxiation and return it to the store so I can invest the money in skills training. But that's all right. I'm not bitter about the contest in the least. No, not at all. In fact, it's quite the opposite. You see, most true artistes go underappreciated during their lifetimes often finding recognition in the history books when future generations of more sophisticated taste look back without the primitive cultural blinders of the barbaric ancestors. Da Vinci, Shakespeare, Van Gogh, Tesla, Brendan Fraser. History remembers them far more fondly than their contemporaries. They were ahead of their times. And how many internet video competitions did they win, right? So you see, for the hundreds of commanders who didn't get a nomination, myself included, it's actually more of an honor not to be selected, and to remain on the list of dark horses, underdogs, the unseen unicorns of the universe, the unblossomed flowers of destiny's garden, the black swans, no I mean the ugly duglings, but you get the point. The truth is this contest unleashed a cavalcade of unbridled talent, the likes of which have never been seen since 2015. The participants rose from all corners of the galaxy, dripping relentlessly with creative sweat, casting a rainbow of artistic expression into the cosmos. Hundreds of commanders struck gold in their entries, and I had gobbled up as many videos as I could find, initially to size up the competition, but soon enough, just out of pure enjoyment, to see so many creative voices crying out from the dark, Look at me! I made a video! I feel you people. I feel you real. Now to be honest, there were some videos that were pretty terrible, but uh, even they might have had a cool shot or a neat idea buried at their core. Most were at least decent, if not outright amazing at times. To pick a single video out of the bunch would basically keep any judge up at night. And while the official winners have been announced, the judges were definitely nervous about revealing their picks. They seemed to really want to stress that their picks were only their own personal opinions, and that it was perfectly okay to have a different one, a different opinion, an opinion of your own. And so, with their expressly implied permission, I've decided to put together a list of Spatula's Top 10, and winner of the Control Alternative Spatula Space Contest 3303. The winner will receive not nothing. The winning, winning is your prize. The judge, yours truly. You may refer to me as Your Honor in the comments. Now, of course, these video selections represent my personal favorites, not the official winners, though there was some overlap. And just like the judges stressed, it was fucking hell picking the winners. Like, having to choose which one of your children you had to sacrifice when, really, you'd just prefer to sacrifice them all. Maybe that's not the best metaphor, but... Anyway, the official winners you can find on the forums. I'll put the link below in the thing. You know, the thing below the thing. But I strongly just encourage you to type control out space. 2017 Dangus Space Movies into the YouTubes, and check out all of the entries. But for the Control Alternative Spatula Space Contest, instead of having one winner and nine runners-up, I'm going to make everyone a winner, with a bunch of random, arbitrary categories. Now, since I don't have free squins to throw at you, you can just tattoo these laurels into your thighs if you wish, Commanders. But let's go! Alright, uh, hold up a second. 
since copywritten music was allowed for this competition for some reason, and about half the entries seem to use the soundtrack for Interstellar, well, I'm going to follow the official judge's lead and replace all the audio with children's music. But you can click each video to go watch it in its own channel, at your own risk of becoming a totally cool music pirate. Urgh. Now let's begin. The first winner of the Control Spatula Alternative Spatula Space Thing is Mercenarius by Commander Ticus, winning the Style Award and the Honorable Space Trophies for All of Eternity. Hands down, this was one of the best entries. Now I'm listing it first, but this was actually one of the main contenders for Grand Prize. The charging music, incredible visuals, solid editing. The story is simple and communicated visually to great effect here. The stylistic retro 80s power glove vibes and tongue-in-cheek approach show off the planet-side battles well. A truly exciting slice-of-life look at the bounty hunting profession. Next up, we have Mining Class by Commander Ascorbius, who wins for Best Comedic Short and Best Documentary about social space issues at the same time. Now this was hands down the funniest video in the competition. A perfect 1-2-3 punch, taking on the mining profession and classes, subclasses thereof. This is a comedy that flows like poetry and hits like daddy. Haiku? The added special effects do much here for building out interesting characters, which I hope we see more of. And surely mining has never been this interesting. Now if you like the dangus, or even if you don't, the Scorbius videos are consistently top shelf and you should definitely check out his madness. And next up, we have The Miner by Yamix, winning for originality and saltiest picture. Now did someone mention mining? The Miner is another great light-hearted video, and the only one to utilize the mockumentary interview format to maximum comedic effect. With so many videos focusing on sweeping visuals and personal narratives, the Miner stays grounded instead in silliness and does something different from the pack, so Yamix definitely wins for originality and, and salt. Next up, we have The Unknown by Ex Matteo. Who wins best suspense in a foreign language? Now this is definitely a hidden gem of a video with great shots and a sequence that effectively builds the suspense and highlights the tension in the game when being hunted. This definitely feels more like a prologue to an episode of Space X Files with the setup for the mystery. You can almost picture Mulder and Scully pulling up in SRVs investigating the exploded ship on a crime scene. Unfortunately, it's in French, so it's only eligible for the foreign language categories. Pardon! Je ne peux pas lire. Je suis un alphabet. Next up, we have Frame Shift Zero by Captain Demelikos, winning the most ambitious video. Now, this one did get into the top 10 officially, and I think rightly so. Being totally honest, the acting is stiff, the cosplay is real, and the green screen and audio are a bit green, but god damn if this video doesn't have the heart of a tiger and the balls of a blue whale. The ambition level in this video is through the roof, and it just manages to pull off its vision and tell a story with characters and go above and beyond. Maximum effort! So many of the other videos were just space porn and space narcissism, and this was one of the few videos that attempted to tell a story. Very refreshing. There's a clear beginning, middle, and end, and while the beats are pretty by the numbers, this was a first from Tomelikos, and I'm sure his videos will grow with experience, so he's one to watch out for. Next up, we have Sticky Bee by Entropy101, winning the Best Music and Music Video Award. Now this is another one that was officially nominated for all the right reasons. The editing is tight, the song is great, the gorillas meets cowboy bebop style of animation and music video format is a nice touch that separates it from the pack. Now even if this was just a music video for the song, it's enjoyable to watch, and definitely worth the pick. So it wins the esteemed music award. Da -da 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 -da. Next up we have Alone by Anton Lavingi, winning the best trailer and best trailer for a trailer award. Now, there were many trailer style videos made, but I only wanted to pick one, and this is the one. Great editing here shows off many neat aspects of the game, and it has a unique voice to it. Maybe the text could have been a little, little less uh, 1990s word art, but at the same time, it, it you know it tends to tell a story, and that's pretty cool. 
The official winner, uh, Salatus, had a good trailer as well with uh, incredible shots, but I just like this one a little bit more. It ends on an upbeat note. Makes me want to jump into the game and play right after seeing that, until I realize I, I don't have any in-game friends, so I'm truly alone. Moving on, A Ghost in the System by Martian Successor Ronin wins the Best Horror and Most Spookiest Award. Yes! I'm very glad that someone told a ghost story, and the keyword there is story. It's really tonally more like a dad version of a horror movie, a bit tongue-in-cheek, but it was a fun video to watch and pulls off telling a futuristic campfire tale that feels... mmm, classic. There were a couple other great entries that centered around spookiness, but this one stood out to me and was the most memorable. And then, second to last, we have Stardust by Turgeon Sandstone, winning the best story and most likely to generate tears. Okay. So this one actually won the overall contest, and it was great. Now, I wouldn't have given it the grand win, and hold on before you riot and shoot at me and just hear me out. Stardust tells an honest, personal story. It's well-written, it's fully wearing its heart on its sleeve, while really using the shots and the game mechanics to tell a story. Definitely required watching. And that's it. I think it's great. Uh, it wins the best story award for me. The only reason I'd not give it the grand prize is because my heart is cold and dead. Which brings us to the number one video in the Control Alternative Spatula Space Contest 2017. And the Grand Wizard, I mean Grand Winner is... Oh, it's a spatula's video. How obvious. I should have known the whole time. And yet I uh, didn't prepare a speech. Actually, I'm just kidding. The one I would actually give the Golden Goose to. The Creme de la Menthe. The Tiara of Destiny. The Laurels of Video Gods. The achievement of 10 lifetimes. The supreme mandate goes to... Ghost Giraffe for Laser Cups. Now this one was my personal favorite video, the one I ended up going back to several times. It's got the best balance of fun, visuals, creativity, and story. It's got action, great shots, creative editing, funny banter, and incredible stunts that make the game look like a lot of fun to play. And at the end, it's got a great punchline. Now this did get an official nomination, I just think it should have won the whole kid and caboodle. It was definitely my favorite of the bunch. Now that's just all my picks of course, and I'm no officiale. And keep in mind I'm desperately trying to be funny to get you to like me. So take all my banter with a grain of salt, not a spoonful. Now I want to take a hot second to congratulate Turgeon for the official win, and of course the official runners up, and the spatula runner ups, and really everyone who entered. And a special thank you for Frontier for running a contest that can give us video making folk a real sense of purpose and distract us from the gaping issues. In the end, as Frontier said, and I quote, all the videos were flawed, which is just like all the people. We're all flawed. And it's our very flaws that give us our unique traits, like personalities or diabetes or the ability to jump over chairs. Now each flaw makes the snowflake even more unique. And for all those special snowflakes who didn't get their nomination, either from the judges or from Mr. Spadula himself, well rest assured my friends that at some point in the distant future, they'll look back on your work and wonder why you existed so far ahead of your time. So this concludes the Controlled Spatula Alternative Spatula Space Control Contest. Or does it? I mean, I, I, I can't not mention Cobra Mark III Cobra Mark III, to which has been stuck in my head since 3303. In fact, screw the original rule to keep this to a top 10 list. Let's hand out shoutouts to everyone. Uh, well, there was Reminiscence by Shrimp Tabasco. That has some really cool shots to check out. And, uh, oh, Day One by Shibuka. That's a funny little sketch that all players will relate to. Uh, and there was Old Man's Harbor by Schoomer. Uh, that felt like a futuristic commercial for the Python or, or Pepsi. In Dryman, that was another good trailer-style video with a twist like a Kerrigan from StarCraft. Uh, a time travel's worth watching for the cool time lapses. Uh, all SRVs go to heaven. That was pretty cute and whimsical, something different. Uh, the Zen of Fuel Limpets, that's hypnotic beyond belief. Onion had recommended for that experience. Uh, but seriously, I, I could go on. And I want to keep mentioning videos. But I think the best thing is just for you to go out and find them, like little uncharted stars. In the end, it was fun to take part and watch all the videos. So thank you, Commanders, again, for your entertainment. I only knew of Obsidian Ant when I started making these dangus lugs, but since then I've found a bunch of great videos to watch that produce elite dangerous content. And contests like this are great for expanding that subscription list. And as usual, it probably could have been organized a little better, 
so that, you know, several of the winners you selected could be broadcast properly without copyright music, or they could have given everyone who made a video a special decal, or, you know, had themes and categories that might have inspired more genre pieces, or emailed the entrance back to acknowledge their submission, or, you know, I swear I'm not bitter. Okay, okay, I am just kidding, guys. Relax. Stop listening to me. Go watch the movies. But before you go, leave me some salt in the comments. The police are after me. I need to go...